So, Jackie, developers tell me that this has been in the making for years. They know that Philadelphia is one of the largest cities in the country. They want this development project to match that look, that energy, that vision. And now Phillies are on board. So this parking lot you see right here, it's going to be filled with a lot of entertainment from restaurants, an apartment complex, retail shops. They say that the tailgating area will not be affected in one part of this lot. Um, so we're, we're excited to be a part of it. We're excited to have the Phillies on board with us uh, today and, and can't wait to have them standing side by side. Come 2028, Phil Laws says parking lots around the sports complex here in South Philly will be gone. The Wells Fargo Center president is leading a project that will transform areas in between Wells Fargo, Lincoln Financial Field, and Citizens Bank Park, adding outdoor spaces, a hotel, mid-sized concert venue, apartment complexes, stores, businesses, and restaurants. The vision to make South Philly an area where people live, not just visit for sports games. We started to look around at Hollywood Park out in Inglewood, um, the Battery down in Atlanta. These are really massive developments, real economic drivers. And when we looked at our pre-pandemic plans, we realized they were not grand enough and certainly not um, of the scale that the Philly sports fan and the people of Philadelphia really deserve. That we, Laws is referring to, is Philly's owner, John Middleton, announcing his partnership with Comcast Spectator to bring this development to light. I think with... Um, as it started to come together, you know, both Brian Roberts and John Middleton are view this not just in terms of a business project, but a, but something that can help Philadelphia, right? They're both guys that are invested in the city in a big way. Laws says he's spoken to the Eagles about coming on board, and he hopes the Sixers will see the value in staying here rather moving its arena to Center City. Sixers wrote to NBC 10, quote, we won't be offering a comment at this time about today's announcement, but reiterate that this has no impact on our intentions to develop an arena at Market East. Well, we would lose, um, we would certainly lose a Sixers game, right, if they built a, uh, we would lose a Sixers game if they built the arena, but there is plenty of entertainment down here. Um, and we feel confident that our arena will be able to compete with anything out there in the market. Well, phase one of this project is slated to be finished in three to four years. As for tailgating, the lot that's behind the Wells Fargo Center, that, I'm told, is not going to be touched in all of this. Fans can still go there and enjoy their time. I'll send it back to you in the studio. We're reporting live from South Philly. Leah Uko, NBC10 News.